Okay. This is our campfire. <laughs> Spooky campfire stories. Okay, so if you are new on the, I'm going to say healing journey, which is taking you into spiritual journey, trying to find yourself, connecting with source, spirit, you're going to start to uh, illuminate uh, more so to the other side. And they're going to see, oh, this person is activating. Okay, and then especially depending on the people that you then associate yourself with, whether they're healers or whatever practice that you're working with, if it's bringing you closer to your authentic self, then that's going to light you up even more, right? Okay, so um, I wasn't really forewarned about working with uh, highly spiritual and highly charged people like Dr. Lod, <laughs> Ayurveda, okay, and those experiences that will come about. But this one was with a shaman, Navajo shaman, and um, I had an incredible uh, long weekend of practices and Healing ceremony things, just intense. Driving home, there was a bad snowstorm, and I had to pull over and stay in a hotel. A lot of people pulled over. There was only, like, one hotel that I could find that had a room left, and the guy was like, oh, this is the room. Okay, it was not a good vibe. Got to the room. I did not feel good about it, energetically. And so I smudged. I have a travel altar. I make a little travel altar. For, I have a little travel altar for myself. So, you know, smudge and sweet grass, et cetera, et cetera, crystals, you know, uh, holy water, rose water spray. And um, so I did my thing and I was like, oh no, I'm getting in and out of this place because it was just creepy in the room. The room wasn't like a scary hotel. It was the room. <laughs> I wanted to make sure I was in and out as soon as I could be and as soon as the highway was plowed. And I had my suitcases lined up on the other bed. It was a room with two beds. And I have everything very, like, pedo organized. I have everything. My food, food allergies, right? So I have my food suitcase, my clothes suitcase, my laptop case. I had some shoes here, and then I had shoes over by the door, you know, organized side by side. And I went to bed, and I put crystals under my bed, and I held one of the wands, crystal clear quartz, single terminated wands that he had gifted me with, and I held it with both hands on my chest, and I just kept saying prayers. And I took the blanket, and I tucked it in around me very tight because... I'm not psychic, but I mean, I've had spiritual experiences. I know some people haven't, and some people have. And I, I can't talk to your grandma. I'm sorry. I can't, but I've had things, lots of things happen. So anyway, especially after working with the these medicine people. Okay. So um, while I was in my room, I heard something like shuffling around now. Being a you know, smart girl's guide to travel. If you're a single woman, actually, honestly, anybody should do this. Um, that, you know, you take a chair or whatever to wedge under the door handle so that nobody can get in. And then even with the latch, you know, you could put a hanger, you could put different things on it so that that can't be busted in. And so I knew that somebody could not, a person could not get into my room. So I knew at least in that way I was safe. So when I heard the movement in my room, I knew it wasn't a person. And then I heard more rustling and more movement. And I was getting more scared. <laughs> and kind of like the guy in the mommy where he starts going through his necklace of like, and all the different religions, like, which one do you recognize? Hey, you know, <laughs> and kind of going through like everything that I could think of and prayers I could think of to just protect me and put energy towards my shields to protect myself from any energy around me. And then something thump against the wall in the 
room? What was flung against the wall? I was not getting up to look. I was not getting up from my, my, my like, six-year-old shielded cocoon of, like, ghost protection in cotton, right? <laughs> I heard more noise. I heard more stuff getting flicked around. I just laid there and I prayed and and I, I shielded up, I energized, and I don't know how, but I knew at that point, like, if nothing had happened to me, I figured if it's physical, I, I you know, of course, protect myself. But since it's energetic, I was like, you can't hurt me. You can't hurt me because I know who I am. I know about my light, okay? So you can play little games, do whatever you're doing. And that's how I was actually able to fall asleep of, like, you wouldn't be trying to mess around with me if you didn't think I was competition of some sort or something that actually worth playing with. You know what I mean? Got up. Early. <laughs> Early. <laughs> Soon it was like, oh, I fell asleep. Okay, I'm up. I need to get out of this room. And I got me out of my cocoon. My suitcases were tossed. My food was tossed. My clothes... <coughs> Excuse me. The truth had tickled my throat. Tell the truth, girl. <laughs> my panties were tossed. My sneakers that were by the door were knocked around. One was like flung. And you know what hit the wall? My laptop. <laughs> My laptop, the case with the laptop in it was on the floor by the, the wall over there. And so I got up and basically, as I was assembling things, I was brushing my teeth because I was working my way right out the door and left. I did a little bit of a, a blessing, but it was more so to just make sure I protected myself. I didn't take any of this with me or on any of my possessions that I'm not interested in. I don't want anything to do with you. And I'm leaving. And I called the shaman and I was, I told him after I left, of course, I'm on the road. And I called him and I told him what had happened. And he said, and then he, and he kind of, he laughed because it's like, that place was really bad. He's like, good for you. <laughs> you know, like you did all that stuff and that you actually stayed there. Like he was surprised. I was like, listen, it was snowing. I don't have time for these games, man, especially with spirit realm. I don't have time for these games. So, um, scary, but true. And so the more I've been on this journey, I've found that. Um, especially if you begin working with a powerful healer and a healer is in the spiritual realm, straight up, man, because it's connection to source, it's God, it's universe, it's to however you consider it or call it. If, if you are looking toward, um, an outward, which is an inward journey for healing, it's likely going to bring you back to a creator of some sort. Maybe, maybe not. Not trying to put anything on anybody. And I'm talking about the majority of people, right? And so I know there are other people out there that could attest. Actually, make a comment in the comment section if you notice that after working, after you were activated with Reiki, after you worked with a Reiki practitioner, after you started a regular yoga or meditation practice, did you notice that there were other signs like that the veil started thinning in different ways not necessarily that they're not necessarily that your room got tossed because that's the first and only time and better be the only time that ever happens to me even though it wasn't the first hotel haunted hotel room i've been in i don't know why source must find it amusing and say we just have to align these two <laughs> the room and me it happens but those are other stories for another time this concludes our campfire a scary story of like that really did happen and also sharing with you that if you are on the path 
talk to other people that are also on the path. They might share similar encounters or just experiences that they've that you know they've had. But if you've had experiences, please share them down below because I think that that will help people. Come on, remember when it was your first time and you thought you were losing your mind and if you grew up in an environment that would have been like, girl, you are nuts. What are you talking about? It's nice to have somebody to say, oh, okay. Oh, they've also had that experience. I'm not alone. So then this way it's, it's, um, it's a support group like through the ethers, right? We're making our little web. Okay. Well, I hope that you've enjoyed this scary story. I'll come back with more because I've got, I've got a few good ones for you. And I want to remind you that you're loved and supported and encouraged. And we're going to get through this together and to keep your light shining. Have a good night.